Hey guys! Hello. Hello. Welcome back to another sister series episode. We are Galentine's edition. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the first one. If you mm -hmm. haven't watched it yet, please go watch. It's definitely just like a good intro. Yeah. But where definitely. we're at and what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. good good life catch up. Yeah. Us. So today we are in the kitchen, obviously. Mm -hmm. We thought because it's our Valentine's Day episode, we would bake a little something. Yeah. So we're gonna do a strawberry shortcake. Yay! I'm so excited. I, I haven't baked a cake from scratch yet, so. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is your first one? First cake. Wow. Our baking gal. She's she's uh -huh. nailed the loaf. Mm -hmm. I've nailed the bread loaf. Yeah. So I believe in our cake. Your cake, our cake. Our cake. Our it's cake. gonna be ours. Yeah. But I do have the apron on, so you know. My she cake. is head yeah. chef. Yeah. I am sous chef. <laughs> sous chef. <laughs> You're like, sis chef. Sis chef. Yeah. We're also making some mocktails. I'm yeah. a big mocktail gal. Mm -hmm. A love potion. So we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get cooking. Woo! <laughs> okay, so I laid out all of our ingredients and directions on this little on my little baking log mm -hmm. that Hallie got me. It's so freaking so cute. cute. Very cute. We preheated the oven to 350 so we're all good and we're just going to start with our dry ingredients. First we start with the flour. Okay gals you both have valentines this year I hope. Yes. Do you have, have you been asked? Well Tommy the other day uh, I have a boyfriend his name is <laughs> The other day, he kind of was like, oh, talking about Valentine's, and I was like, well, I haven't been asked yet, so I made him ask me, so yeah. I also have a boyfriend. I have had a boyfriend for almost two years, um, and he hasn't asked me. I actually told him, I said, Gabe, like, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Like, we have to have fun, like, good vibes, like, I'm gonna get you something cute, and he just, like, acted like it was normal, and... Like it was fine. And wow, so you don't have a Valentine's. <laughs> Technically, I don't. Mm -hmm. I feel like for Valentine's, he wants to like make a meal, like do like an intimate night thing. Yeah, that's cute. Know, something cute and fun. Three eggs. <laughs> Adding three eggs. One for each of us. Wow, that was a nice crack there. We Thank each get to crack an egg. But yeah, Hope, are you doing something for Valentine's Day? Um, if my Valentine's Day plans follow through, I will be going to the basketball game. So. Oh wow, romantic. I actually wanted to do that. <laughs> I don't know if that would be my first choice. That's fun. It's a home I game. I would love to go to a sporting activity. I think that's fun. I'm an online student, so I have to get in my in person when I can, guys. I have to be. Yeah, that's be smart fun. here. Start whisking that, and then whisk I'm just it up. Add a little bit of salt. Wait, I want to film you whisking. I have a Valentine this year. His name is. The bar. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be studying <laughs> on Valentine's Day. Uh, that mix looks questionable. Just keep going. You won't go out for Valentine's Day at all. Maybe you can hang out with me and Gabe. Well, I'm having some friends over on the 12th. Oh, yeah, I'm doing book club with the gals yeah. here. It's like all okay. up in there. <laughs> Well, that's fun. That's like a cute activity to where you don't feel bad, but it's also like not a lot to stress about with yeah, the bar. Yeah, exactly. I'm pouring in my other ingredients, which will be my sugar, butter, and milk. Thanks. It's a lot of sugar. I'm just gonna <laughs> ignore <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, we're double whisking. Uh, woo, yeah, this is fun. This is chefs. Do you guys think Valentine's Day is overrated? No, I don't. I obviously don't have someone <laughs> this year to celebrate it with, but I still think that it is a sweet holiday and like it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Like it could mm -hmm. be literally just like cooking dinner together at home. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a significant other, whether it's your family, whether it's your friends, I just mm -hmm. think it's like a sweet sentiment to like the loved ones in your life. Yeah. yeah. And I, so I like it. I definitely think it's like a Hallmark holiday a little bit, like just a reason for like companies to make money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I'm also like the type of person where it's like, if I love you enough, I'm going to give you love every day of the year. I don't need like an excuse to 
you know. I yeah. love an excuse. Yeah, but it's like a cute way to honor. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. Like I it, love celebrating. It was so fun growing up, going to school on Valentine's Day oh, and yeah. giving out the little cards oh, to everyone yes. and like getting yes. who got like what like oh my character gosh. on your card. Oh my gosh, and like writing everyone's names on it yes. and taking it show with a little the sticker. Little sticker. Oh, the little oh, box. Yeah, yes. I yes. have the boxes. I, I love decorating yeah. the mailbox. That's really I cute. love Valentine's Day. I honestly don't think it's overrated. No, I think it's sweet. I, why not celebrate love? Yeah, yeah, with anyone yeah. and everyone. Literally just a random person on the street. You yeah. know, tell them hi that day. Smile at a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> so after we have whisked everything together, I'm gonna do just a little bit more salt. Not a lot, literally. Mom. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna put it in the pan. Oh, really? Yeah. Can I try it? Oh, please. Ooh. The directions did say we needed a mixer. Luckily, Hallie's been hitting by <laughs> uh -huh. in her back, back in by day. day. <laughs> I've been doing my pull-ups, you know. What is everyone's love languages? Love languages? What do you give and what do you like to receive? Okay, well maybe you go first. Do you know? I think so. Well, I love I all of them. I think I know yours. I love all of them. I will say, and this is probably just like the Virgo in me and like my life at this point in time, when someone does something for me <laughs> that like I didn't ask them to do, like it really just means so much. Yeah. It's like I think yeah. it's because I'm so busy and like mm -hmm. so I in my that. so on my schedule. Like that, someone like, going out of their way for to you, do yeah, oh to make gosh. something like easier. Yeah, like it's really a sweet. So it's a sweet sentiment. I agree. I definitely yeah. think acts of service for me personally, along with words of affirmation. I'm a big affirmation person. Mm -hmm. I tend to overthink. I need the constant yeah. reassurance, not gonna lie. But I can't ask for it. Like, I want someone to, like, affirm me yeah, without yeah. having to ask. Fair. That's me. That's really valid. Yeah. yeah. I think I honestly like to receive words of affirmation. Yeah, like Hope, like how you said, I'm such an overthinker and an overanalyzer. Like, I'm gonna think into everything that you're saying. So if you're affirming me and, like, telling me things that I want to hear, obviously I'm not gonna like that. No. Yeah. Yeah. I think you give gifts. Mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm. Like I think you, 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 it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It could be so small. But I just think that's like you like giving a little gift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like doing things for people and, and giving I think that's things. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Hope. I think I don't know. No, you can't tell. You, we have to say. Oh, oh, yeah. you're telling me. Okay, give it to me. How do I show y'all love? Okay. When I like feel most loved by hope, quality time. Yeah. I've completely forgot oh, about that. Oh, I am definitely quality time, 100%. When people, what I like from people is quality time. What I like to give to people is quality time. No, you don't, well maybe you like to give it, but you give more in the, the sense of get little gifts. You don't yeah. get to pick what you, we think you give best. I feel like that's what I give the most no, though. No, no. No gift, gift for you. You are a quality time. I'm girl. a quality time person. If I can spend, if hope is lingering around me, it's because she's like wants to be with me <laughs> and like isn't... no, I love it because I know when you don't want or like you're busy, yeah, and you won't be there. Yeah, and I feel like I'm honestly kind of the same the way. Same. Like, when yeah. I want to be you guys, I'm like, <laughs> hey. Well, because I'm, I'm such an introverted person, truly, I'm one of those people that's like, oh, I need to be alone to recharge. Blah blah. So like when I want to spend like endless Actually, endless time, time with you at moments when I don't want to be with anyone, it's like love, love. Aww. You're good at giving. Um, I don't think I'm gift giving. Yeah, you are. Like you're so quick to just like get someone a little something. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love pe like paying for people's food. Like <laughs> is that gift giving? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah in yeah. a sense. <laughs> Honestly, it's like I feel like your physical touch. Really? I feel like I never touch anyone. I feel like Basically, I never touch not a physical touch no, person. No, but like, I'm saying like, when she goes out of her way to like, give me a little kiss on the forehead, I'm like, wow. Like, she I actually loves her. Paisley. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes will like, be randomly thinking to myself, I wonder when the last time Paisley and I just like, fully embraced in a hug. Oh, well, I don't ever like, crave <laughs> a hug from you though. 
though. Like I, I crave just like shoving you sometimes. No, it's more like we're more like we are always touching. <laughs> like if we sit down on the couch, couch. Oh, oh it's my like, shoulder to shoulder. Like we have a huge couch, and we're like, we're like okay. We're <laughs> pouring it in. You guys are getting <laughs> triple leveled content right now. Okay. Pour it in. Pour it in. Already. Yeah. Well, hopefully that works. Yay! To the oven we go. 30 minutes, 350. Bye! Now we put the shortcake in the oven. We are on to mocktails. Heck yeah. And we're gonna be playing a game. Yes. Mm -hmm. While we make them. Mm -hmm. Called Date or Hate. Hate. <laughs> First. Let's talk about our ingredients in the mocktails. Our base is a strawberry lemon poppy, and then we're adding some sunkissed strawberry lemonade. It's just a strawberry <coughs> drink, guys. Yeah, and then it's nothing crazy, but some icing and sprinkles. For the and rim. also, and then we're gonna put some, some strawberries. Mm -hmm. Okay, date or hate? Mm -hmm. First, first topic. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in there. First one. Being serenaded. Oh, perfect. I would like the context of being serenaded. First three dates, a okay. man pulls out the guitar and he's singing. Maybe he's singing a little. Singing are, a little you, tune. are you Are you dating or are you dating? <laughs> Come on, ladies. I'm hating. <laughs> yeah, I, that's not for me. I would be so uncomfortable. I, I think great, extremely talented, love it, but yeah. I would like hate. I would just feel really uncomfortable in that moment, probably. I understand that. I get that for sure. I never know when to be like, this is so satisfying. I like know. I've never been serenaded. No one's ever like sung to me, but I just, every time I'm in a situation where I'm like someone's like singing, like I never know when to be like, wow, like you're amazing. Like you're so good. Or just like be chill and like they know they're good. Yeah, already. it's just like kind of awkward. I feel like I have the need to defend myself here. <laughs> no! I am dating a musician and honestly, it's one of my favorite parts about him. Um, I feel like as a fellow creative and growing up around fellow creatives, I just find it comforting to know that I can relate to him in an artistic way and also he's really freaking good so I yeah. find it attractive and like he loves music just as much as I do. But being serenaded on the first date was not something that happened. Yeah, fair. I think your point is is like probably the same as mine. Like I've never been with a man or loved a man that had that ability. So I think if I did and then they did it, then I would like appreciate it. Yeah, I mean if a guy was to just like whip out an amazing singing voice, like, yeah. oh you're talented, you know, like it's never bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think a defining factor for me with a relationship is someone that like has the same interests and like hobbies as me. And so like him loving and making music and also making music about me is definitely a bonus. Do you like when he writes songs about you? I mean, he, <laughs> sorry Gabe, he has said that it's easiest to write songs about me, so I feel like that's not a bad thing. That's yeah. fair. Um, I mean, you okay. guys are dating. Of Words course. of affirmation. Yep. Right, right. You know, and the songs are saying that I look good and that <laughs> I'm amazing and perfect. So, um, count me and okay. wait, maybe I actually need a song. <laughs> well, first, let's appreciate. Yeah, let's take a moment. Our beautiful little cup. Look how oh, good mine is, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Our next date or hate video gamer. Yeah, that's not for me. Not it. Not gonna be it. No, no, no. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You will not catch me with a man who goes on the TV for more than six hours in a day. Six hours? That's yes. wild. That was well. like how okay. I'm, ta I'm talking was. more than two. You Fine. play you play a game for I have my screen time. I yeah. have judging a little screen. I'm an iPad baby. I love Pinterest. Oh yeah. You know if you if you need don't some catch me lacking with that Pinterest. Fair. So yeah. true. But Fortnite's different. Fortnite. I shouldn't be dating a man that still plays Fortnite. That's like, that's like the worst of the worst though. Yeah, I can't. That's not for me. I would play Minecraft with the guy. Oh yeah. That's cute. Got me in for a Minecraft moment. I love Minecraft. I like Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, you guys were Minecraft. We were Minecrafters. 
Yeah. That's I also awesome. have to say, some people are making like bank off of like streaming and playing them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, okay. I respect the hustle. If you're a video gamer and you're actively like making a living, I can't judge you. Yeah. You know, I'm. Respect. It's Love. funny we bring up video games because one time back in the day, Hallie's first ever boyfriend, first ever hangout with her boyfriend, we're in my game room. Okay. <laughs> the, I don't even know the story. <laughs> I've never to told anyone this. This might get cut out. <laughs> we're playing Mario Kart. And we got so excited because I got first place. <laughs> I jumped up and down and then I farted. <laughs> I do care if your car is clean. 
<gasps> Don't foul Call me out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got shit in my car, but just like, you know, every once in a yeah. few weeks, maybe it, take it through. If there's a science project in there, oh, yeah. and then maybe we need to bring it. Yeah, to, like uh, dirty local clothes, if it smells, that was like that. I'm kind of getting reminded I might need to clean my car. Yeah. <laughs> well, funny enough, last year I went on a date on Valentine's Day in New York City. Slay. And I didn't even realize it was Valentine's Day to begin with, which was like kind of embarrassing. It just like happened to be the time I was like there for work and it you was were like just my like... one free night. And I was like, oh, I can go this night. And then he was like, oh, so you wanted to go on our first day on Valentine's Day. And I was like, Mortified. Oh my god. So embarrassed. So my stomach would drop. Hard. Yeah, no, no I was like, be. and mm, <laughs> of course, he's probably thinking, like, oh, this girl, like, she so 100% knows it's Valentine's she, Day. She, like, wants a Valentine's Day that bad. Yeah, yeah, and no, I genuinely, it was just like my one free moment on the trip. That's good. And so I go, and it was a cute little place, and I get so nervous, and I was just, like, really, like, in my head, whatever, mm -hmm. and I get there, and <laughs> I sit down with this guy and all that's going on and like this couple next to me is really looking at me and I'm like, is something like wrong? Like I don't understand. Like the space is really intimate and <laughs> all of a sudden the guy is like, I just have to say this because he's now noticing how, how okay. much they're looking okay. at us. Like it's a thing now. Yeah, yeah. So he finally is like, I just like have to say this. I sat down the wrong girl before you. And so these people next to us are like, oh my god, this guy is going on date after date on Valentine's Day, like, <gasps> wrapping them lying. up. Lying. Yeah. And so I'm just, like, staring at him, like, how? Also, like, do I believe him? Yeah, like, what? what? It was just, like, such a crazy thing. That is crazy. And I will say it was our first time ever meeting in person. Okay. But still crazy to me, like, that he didn't ask. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he was like, what's your name? Yeah. <laughs> Which like I how don't know. far did they get? Do you know how far they got in the date? He said he said they were like having a few conversations and like he knew a few things about me based on like what he had seen from me before yeah. and like the few conversations we had had leading up to it. And she started answering things differently than he was <gasps> expecting. And that's when he was like, "Wait, are you not Hazley?" And she was like, "No, are you not so and so?" <gasps> okay, yeah, she missed oh. she messed up too. Oh my God. Yeah, oh my God. God. Oh. So then like on a first date and both of them were with wow. the wrong people. Yeah. So yeah, long story short, I was just like, well, like what was I supposed to do? Just I was just like, it. okay, yeah. just like whatever, on. that's funny, you know? She definitely that's wasn't funny. me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like thinking in my head, like what did this girl look like? Was she like yeah. let down that it wasn't her? And then I'm just like so in my head, you know? Oh yeah, I would be in my head. Because I never saw this girl. Like I never, I have no idea. Wow. Well, she was probably still at the restaurant. I know, but I didn't know. Oh, I, I would have been like, on the. I wouldn't have been able to let it go. No, I was just like so like off. I didn't want to make it awkward and uncomfortable, so I just yeah, like moved yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like go to the bathroom and there's like a girl washing her hands next to you that looks like exactly like you. You're like, I'm like wait. <laughs> so yeah, that's like my funny actual Valentine's Day. Wow, wow that was good. What a story. So this Valentine's Day, I will be home studying. <laughs> <laughs> We're now going to be finishing up. Mm -hmm. Let's decorate that cake. So, oh, yeah. here, here she, she is. is. <laughs> you know, you've seen a prettier cake, but like, yeah, she's so cute. cute. She looks like a little muffin top. She is a little muffin top. <laughs> she looks like she was baked in a, in a pie pan. We have Cool Whip as our base, strawberries, obviously. And I also just kind of whipped up a uh, one to one ratio of powdered sugar and jam. Just kind of have. A frosting. Yeah. The first, I just put a little bit of this on. Yeah. Put a little bit of that. Okay. So our last and final topic is things we want to work on in our relationships, if you have one, mm -hmm. or things you are looking for in a relationship, if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to find someone that owns a horse. <laughs> Okay, well that's like a huge mess, but actually <laughs> I would just like love to find someone that loves to be outside, is driven, works hard, family man, supportive. Hells yeah. That's really a good man. That's really my Any any takers out there? <laughs> I like that. Those are really good qualities and I feel like that's something to work towards. Yeah. For sure. 
I think you you keep the horse though. Forefront. Yeah, horse is good. What is something you want to work on? I hope. Um. Hmm. One thing I'm trying to work on in my relationship right now, I feel like I maybe seek too much reassurance. Okay. You're wrong. They always say confidence. Yeah, you can't yeah. love someone before loving yourself. It looks cute. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's great. Thank you. I think whether you're in a relationship or not, it's something I could. Yeah, like you should always try that. And like you got no reason to doubt, girl. So yeah, you're beautiful and an amazing, beautiful, human. strong woman. Nice. Yes. Okay. Really? <laughs> I feel like we should just like cover it with strawberries. No? Oh, all over. Yeah, wait. You know, honestly, Hope, I'm the same way. Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes I can reflect my insecurities onto the relationship and like not. Oh, oh. Strawberries are falling. Strawberries are falling! <laughs> you know, she's a little ugly, but she's gonna be good. <laughs> she's gonna be so yummy. It's fine. Just let them fall. Let it be just like a beautiful. Yeah, cool. Maybe it'll like kind of add to the effect. <laughs> yeah, <of it>. maybe. <laughs> this is why I don't do cakes. I'm bad at icing. Another thing I want to work on. <laughs> this is a disaster. No! Wait, wait, don't mess her up on purpose. A beautiful disaster. Yeah. You will. Um, She's looking good. Is, like I said in the last video about goals for the new year, filling my own cup before I fill Gabe's or even other relationships that I may have. Yeah. yeah. I tend to I seek fulfillment through other people when I actually just need to fill my own cup. So that's a big thing for that's me. That's a great thing. I honestly think that's like why I've been single so long is because I just like wanted to like really feel like solid you know, yeah. on my own before I like just go jump into another relationship. Yeah. yeah. I like appreciate that. Yeah. But it's obviously sure. something you like, no matter who you are, how long you've been in a relationship, mm -hmm. just like always something good to work on. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Happy Galentine's Day. Happy Day. Galentine's Day. Yes. Make sure to like and subscribe mm -hmm. and follow us on TikTok and Instagram at the Pittman Sisters and follow our personals, Hallie.Pittman. At Heathley Pittman. Hope underscore Pittman. Woo! And go spread some love yeah. this Valentine's Day. Go be kind mm -hmm. to someone. Mwah. Mwah. And uh, let's try this cake. Hell yeah. All right, should we just go in? Cheers. Cheers. Strawberry shortcake. Wow. That's good. She <laughs> is good. <laughs> Love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah.